क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्ड ऑफ एक्सरसाइज 2.4 चैप्टर 2 क्लास 8 बीनियर इक्वेशंस इन वन वेरिएबल सम ऑफ द डिजिट्स ऑफ अ टू डिजिट नंबर इज 9 व्हेन वी इंटरचेंज द डिजिट्स इट इज फाउंड दैट द रिजल्टिंग न्यू नंबर इज ग्रेटर देन द ओरिजिनल नंबर बाय 27 व्हाट इज द टू डिजिट नंबर इनिशियली लुकिंग एट द प्रॉब्लम ऑल कंफ्यूज्ड बट वी विल आर यूज मेथड ऑफ ब्रेकिंग द होल स्टेटमेंट इनटू चंक्स एंड एनकाउंटर ईच स्टेटमेंट of this question individually and try to find out the solution try solving this question let us discuss a bit of a concept take for example a two digit number say 56 so we are considering a two digit number as 56 you know very well from your previous standard this place where 6 is written is called as units place and where 5 is written is called as tens so it can be written as this 56 equals to when we multiply 10 into 5 and add 6 to it we get 56 So this is the descriptive form of writing 56. That is, in order to get units place, we just write the given number. That is six as it is, and in order to get tens place, we multiply it with ten. So in this way, we represent our numbers. Now, if the digit in 56 are interchanged, that is, we flip the digits, we get 65. As simple as that. That is, six is moving towards tens digit, and five is moving towards unit place. That would be called as interchanging the digits. Now, 65 can be written very similar to its original number. Now, we would multiply 10 with 6, and we would add whatever written in unit place, that is 5. So, with this concept, we will try to solve our question. So, the solution goes like this: Let us take the two-digit number such that the digit in the unit place is u. Now, you know very well from so many questions that we have solved in this series that our variable is written with a small letter. and we are taking initial letter of this unit therefore we took small letter u now the very first statement says sum of the digits of a two digit number is 9 so we wrote since sum is 9 that is if we have tens digit and when we add unit digit to it we get 9 so by transposing what would be the value of tens digit it would be 9 minus u because u is transposed towards right hand side it becomes minus so 9 minus u therefore we wrote that is tens digit would be 9 minus u everything going smooth so far with this idea we can write the complete number this is a mathematical way of writing therefore so you could write any of them that is do not write both this is just for the representation purpose so therefore the number is we are just writing as we explained here first of all we would write 10 then what is our tens digit We have found tens digit as nine minus u, so we wrote nine minus u as we wrote five here in our example, so that we don't get puzzled. We just wrote them in brackets. Nine minus u is in small bracket, and this whole tens digit, that is ten, is getting multiplied with nine minus u individually, is a tens digit. Therefore, we wrote in larger brackets, and we write units digit as it is. So we wrote plus u. So this complete thing gives us original number that we are talking about in the question. Now let's see what rest of the question says. When we interchange the digits, now you know very well what is the meaning of interchanging. So let's do that. Interchange the digits. The number is. Now we would multiply ten with this unit place. So we wrote u, as we did here. Plus as it is, as we had plus here, and we write in units place the number as it is. So we have nine minus u. So we wrote nine minus u. Now let's visit the statement again. It is found that the resulting new number. So whatever we got here, that is ten u plus nine minus u. This complete thing is our resulting new number. So it says it is greater than the original number by twenty-seven. So this resulting new number is greater than this original number by twenty-seven. therefore we wrote in terms of mathematics so also because we are given with the new statement here this resulting new number so we wrote 10u plus 9 minus u here it is greater this is sign of greater that is opening braces towards greater number than the original number original number was this complete thing so we wrote this thing by 27 here we have to understand that this thing is greater so how we can reach greater number if we add whatever is given to us to the original number we would be able to equate it to the greater number 
this is very similar if we have 10 as a greater number and we are given with 8 as a smaller number so we should add 2 to it then only we can equate it so this is a common sense which we have to apply as we applied in our question number second which you can visit for a better understanding therefore this complete statement that is this second complete statement gives us the required equation which we are going to write now so this is a greater number so we wrote it as it is this equals to we are going to equate it and we can only do it if we will add 27 to this original number because it is smaller so we wrote this thing as it is plus 27 now this is a balanced equation the ultimate aim of equations is that you have to balance left hand side with right hand side these brackets are introduced so that we don't get puzzled this complete thing represents the original number and this complete thing represents the resulting new number this is the required equation which we are going to solve in order to find our answer so you see how easy it became when we broke the complete statement and using the concepts plus the common sense gives us the required solution now we will solve it 10 into u it is simple we wrote 10 u open this bracket plus 9 so we wrote plus 9 plus minus is minus so we wrote u here it is understood that it is 1 equal as it is let's open this bracket first of all 10 into 9 is 90 10 into minus u is minus 10 u plus u as it is bigger bracket as it is plus 27 as it is left hand side as it is now if you visualize here nothing is complex we only have addition and subtraction so we can straight away open all the brackets so we wrote 90 minus 10 u plus u plus 27 now we can solve this equation 10 u minus u that is 1 u is 9 u so we wrote 9 u and we are left with positive 9 here so we wrote positive 9 on left hand side this equal as it is solve right hand side 90 plus 27 is 117 simple and minus 10 u plus u so different signs but have same variables we can operate it we are going to subtract it and sign will come off greater number subtracting it gives us 9u and sign comes off greater number so minus 9u now we are going to solve this equation 9u as it is transposing this minus 9u on right hand side towards left hand side it becomes plus 9u equal as it is we were left with 117 on right hand side so we wrote the same and we transposed positive 9 from left hand side to our right hand side it became minus 9 solve this equation further 9u plus 9u same sign we are going to add it up and sign remains unchanged so 18u we got equal to 170 minus 9 equals 108 cancelling opportunity in the numerator part so 2 9s are 18 2 5s are 10 so we wrote 5 we were left with 8 so 2 4s are 8 again we can cancel it straight away with 9 so 1 9s are 9 6 9s are 54 in this way we have separated u and its value came as 6 what we have assumed u for it is very simple u denotes unit place therefore we choose variable in such a way that it becomes easy for our calculation and also logical simultaneously so we wrote u equal to 6 and the question was asking what is the two digit number so we have found unit place as 6 and what was the relationship of u with tens digit it was t equals 9 minus u so we wrote t equals 9 minus u and t equals 9 minus 6 in place of u it is 9 minus 6 is 3 therefore the required two digit number is 36 with this we have found a two digit number and that completes our solution for this question so initially when we look at the problem it all seems a puzzle the idea is to remain calm and break the whole statement into smaller statements and use the concepts plus the logic followed with the common sense that will give you correct answer each time you solve problems of linear equations in one variable with this our question number third of exercise 2.4 is completed